Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a two balloon crab. I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial, so if you appreciate that, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small, free way that you can show your support. You can also subscribe for more balloon tutorials, personal finance, and business tips. Some supplies you're going to need are a dual action hand inflator, two 260 size balloon twisting balloons. Links to both of these items can be found in the description below. You'll need a Sharpie for drawing any details. Once you've gathered your supplies and smashed that like button, let's get started. I'm going to inflate both balloons to about halfway and I wanna make sure they are very very symmetrical, so I'm going to inflate both of them at the same time before I start the shape. Now I'm going to use this one as a guide when I'm inflating my second one. Okay, that's pretty close. We're going to start by making a crab claw, so we're going to make a one inch bubble, then a three inch section. I'm going to hold the nozzle with my thumb and index finger, then put pressure on the remainder of my balloon with the same hand while I pull away these two sections with my free hand and twist it around a few times. To lock it in place, I'm going to stick this nozzle through the two sections that I just made. Next, I'm going to create a one inch bubble. followed by two ear twists. The easiest way to make an ear twist is to make a one inch bubble, fold the balloon down, put pressure on both sides with one hand and lift up the bubble and twist it around with your free hand. There's one ear twist, now we're going to make a second one in the same spot. I'm going to use my piece fingers to wrap around this first ear twist that I made. Use my thumb to put pressure on the remainder of my balloon here because there's room for the air to go by pushing it into the tail here. I'll lift up this one inch bubble with my free hand and twist it around to make my second ear twist. Now I'm going to orient it so that my crab claw is on top and my two ear twists are on opposite sides of each other. Now I'm going to make another one inch bubble and then two crab legs, which are going to be two identical three inch sections. There's one leg and the easiest way to make the second leg is to fold this balloon up, put pressure on the remainder of my balloon towards this twist, pull away my two legs and twist them around a few times. Now we should have something that looks like this. This is half of our crab. Take a look at what this looks like. We are going to make the exact same thing with our second balloon. So see if you can take a look at this and memorize which twists I did in what order and see if you can do that second balloon without looking at the video. If you need to pause the video for a second to take a look or practice, feel free. Otherwise, see if you can keep up with me. Now we should have two identical sections that are going to go across from each other like this. To connect these together, I'm going to make a one inch bubble on the very end of the inflated part of one of my balloons. When I make the twist at the one inch bubble mark, it's going to expand the balloon a little bit so it'll be closer to two inches. Next, I'm going to connect this twist right above the legs of my other balloon. I'm going to push these two twists together and twist around these two sections. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other balloon. I'm going to make a one inch section right here on the end of the inflated part. And I'm going to connect this twist right under the legs on the other side. Now what we're going to do is squeeze the air in these sections all the way up to the top here. A good way to do this is to just squeeze the balloon until the air shoots up above your hand and cut off the air so that it can't go back down into the balloon. So I'm cutting the air off right here and now I'm going to use my other hand to bring this section all the way to the top. Cut off the air again if I need to use my other hand. Almost there, I'm going to use my other hand one more time. 
And now we have a balloon bulb at the very top. Now let's do the same thing with the other side. Now these two bulbs are a little bit floppy, so what I like to do is stick part of it in between these two twists here. And I'll do the same thing for this bulb on the other side. And what this does is create the appearance of those tiny little crab eyes. Now we can use our Sharpie to draw some eyes on the very tops of these bulbs. And here we have our two balloon crab. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Subscribe to my channel for some more balloon tutorials, personal finance and business tips. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. And let me know what content you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, I'm Joey, I'll see you next time.